All right, good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePredictions.com here at the Earthquake Channel. And it's 9.33 in the evening on Sunday, December 6, 2020. 9.33 in the evening here in California. And uh, we're going to start out by reviewing uh, the quakes that have hit in our risk areas. And um, it's pretty spectacular how well this is working. Still waiting on that Alaska quake that should hit uh, tomorrow morning. However, uh, the other quakes are hitting right on time. Uh, we had a 85% uh, risk down in uh, southwest Turkey and just northwest of uh, Cyprus. And we were mentioning in the last two videos to watch for a quake near Antalya. Well, a 5.3 earthquake hit southeast of Antalya, right on schedule. On December 5th, in fact, I had mentioned in the afternoon, and it hit in the afternoon as well. So that worked out good. And then um, there was a 4.0 quake west of Naples. And in the last uh, video, I mentioned uh, Naples. And there was a quake just west of there. And the risk uh, was peaking and uh, spiking in California today. And uh, you can see that at quakeprediction.com. And we had a 4.4 and a 3.6 in California. And we mentioned, uh, well, got some text coming across here from places around the world. All right. Um, so we have uh, a 5.1 that hit southeast of Japan and a 4.5. And those uh, quakes coincided with our warning uh, for southeast of Japan and southern Japan. Still expecting something significant, maybe a 5.0 to 6.0 down down near uh, Kumamoto and Miyazaki in the south and west part of uh, Japan. All right, let's uh, do a review of the other countries around the world now for the forecast. And we're going to start with the uh, California area. On December 8th, northwest of LA to Ridgecrest, we could get a uh, uh, 3.0 to 4.0 on December 8th. In Anchorage, we're waiting on that quake still. 6.5 to 7.5 earthquake is likely. Most likely now uh, tomorrow morning on uh, December 7th. And in uh, Chile, there's a uh, risk of a 5.0 quake in uh, east central Chile, northeast of Santiago. And you can see that at the map at quakeprediction.com. And then on December 8th, near Catania and Sicily, on December 8th, we should get about a 4.0 to 4.5 earthquake down in that area. Um, and then once again, about a 5.0 near uh, Kumamoto, Japan, in the next uh, 12 to 24 hours. And uh, southwest of Manila, there could be a 4.5 to 5.0 possible southwest uh, out in the ocean there. Uh, in southwest of Manila, Philippines. A more significant quake, about a 5.0 earthquake, is likely uh, northwest of Greece and north of Albania near Montenegro. And that should produce about a 5.0 quake between the December 7th and December 8th. Central Peru, uh, about a 4.0 to 4.5 is likely on the 7th or 8th of December. And then in uh, southeast Sumatra, uh, north of Jakarta, in uh, right around Jambi, in the southeast Sumatra, about a 5.0 earthquake in that area. In uh, Dominica and Martinique, about a 4.0 to 5.0 in the next 24 to 36 hours. And then close to uh, uh, Portland, Oregon, we could get a uh, about a 4.0 earthquake. Uh, December 7th into December 8th, right there on the border between southwest uh, Washington and northwest uh, Oregon, about a 4.0 just west of Portland. And last but not least, uh, expecting about a 4.0 in southeast Greece or southwest uh, Turkey, just a small one there. And a more significant one in southern Syria, northern Georgia, Jordan and southwest Iraq, about a 4.5 earthquake in that area. 
So thanks again uh, for following us here at QuakePrediction.com. Again, we're looking for a strong earthquake in uh, Alaska within the next 12 to 24 hours, most likely tomorrow morning, west of Anchorage or close to Anchorage. Uh, please stay tuned to here at QuakePrediction.com. We'll keep you updated on any uh, significant earthquakes around the world. Please subscribe uh, over at YouTube. And thanks again to our 146,000 followers on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Thank you very much, and we will keep you informed here at QuakePrediction.com. Thank you so much, and have a great uh, week coming up. Monday is coming up tomorrow. Thank you so much.